Hello friends. So the video you're about to watch is from Ryan who's gonna tell you how you can learn Spanish with Donkey. Hey everyone, Orion BD here. Uh, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to uh, make uh, flashcards in order to help you get or to uh, learn Spanish. All right, awesome, let's get into it. So first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna create a new deck. Uh, we're gonna just name it Spanish because, I mean, that's simple. Uh, yeah, awesome, we're gonna go to the deck and we're gonna start adding cards. So I made a little list of what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing rojo, juego, y comer. And respectively, that means red, fire, and to eat. All right, awesome. So first thing we're going to do, we are going to go and download the audio. So I like to use this website called forvo.com for that. Um, really good website. It has just about every single word uh, pronounced, which is really nice. And you can choose between like different uh, different pronunciations of it from different people from different countries. I choose to, I usually choose to stay away from Spain. Uh, not that the Spaniards uh, have a bad accent or anything. It's just uh, like Latin American is like just a little bit more standard, I think. But I really do like the Spaniard Rojo. accent. So then I go through Rojo. and I listen to all of these Rojo. Rojo. and try and just decide which one Rojo. I like the most. I kind of like this alias 92 guy. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. Awesome. And then I'm going to go and just find a picture of rojo, which means red. So awesome. Just copy that. Bring this over. We're going to do this. And we're going to go to our downloads. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to copy this over. Rojo. We're going to paste the picture. And then we are going to, to write the word in Spanish red and then adjective all right awesome so the reason i chose to format it this way um so i only have audio on the front and then i have everything else on the back and that's just due to the fact that um i think like i think focusing on uh, the pronunciation of words is more important than focusing on the uh, spelling because uh because like if you can get the pronunciation, at least in Spanish, you'll get the spelling eventually. And I think like being able to like hear the word and like understand the word is a lot more important than being able to read the word and understand the word, if that makes sense. So yeah, with that, let's go ahead and continue on. So our next word is fuego. So the one thing that I don't like about Forvo is that like um so it doesn't like have the articles or which means the word the in front of the uh or in front of the word like it has like some variations on it but i just want el fuego so i'm going to go to this website it's called ttsmp3.com a uh, super good website um it lets you just type whatever you want and then a robot will say it for you um yeah so this has a lot of different uh, options a lot of different spanish options as well um so you can do Castilian Spanish, which is uh, Spanish from Spain. You can do Mexican Spanish, or you can do U.S. Spanish. I just stick with U.S. Spanish, and I usually stick with uh, Penelope, uh, just because I, I don't know, I think she does it does it better than the other ones. El fuego. El fuego sounds good. Gonna go ahead and download that. Then we're gonna go up here. Then type in fuego. All right, fuego. Uh, no, nah, I don't like that. It's a little blurry. Uh, I usually try to stay away from transparent backgrounds as well, just because sometimes it can be a little weird. Um, yeah, that, honestly, that one will be good enough. All right, so we're going to go over here, kind of do basically the same thing. Copy that over. El fuego. Going to paste the image, then el fuego. the fire and then the reason i really do like that uh that article in there is just because it like helps me remember whether the noun is masculine or feminine i mean fuego it's like pretty obvious that it's masculine because it ends with that uh that o right there uh but yeah and then last but not least we are going to do comer and we're going to go back to forvo just because that it's uh it's one word comer 
And again, we're gonna stick away from the sp from the Spanish pronunciation or like the Spain Spanish pronunciation. Comer, comer, comer. I like how Don Quixote pronounces it, so I'm gonna go ahead and download his, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type in comer up here. Comer, not the comer I was wanting. Uh, let's just do. Uh, eating and that looks like a good picture and that looks like a good chicken sandwich as well i think i don't know whatever it is it looks good but yeah then we do the same thing just copy the audio comer right over there paste it comer to eat um then let's see our infinitive verb all right, and that should be it. Uh, if you're trying to memorize like phrases or anything like that as well, uh, this is very good for that because you can kind of type uh, whatever you want, and then it'll uh, it'll say it. Me gustan paps fritas. Oh uh, yeah, and that's the other thing you gotta remember. You always have to type it uh, completely correct because it just says whatever whatever you type. Me gustan papas fritas. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative. If you liked the video, please uh, give it a like, comment, and consider subscribing.